Today we will see an interesting concept that is eigenvalue problem. So we will start the concept of eigenvalue problem uh, through system of equations. So we will see first a 2 by 2 system of equations. I can write it as a11x1 plus a12x2 equal to b1 a21x1 uh, plus a22x2 that is b2 so it will be what if i write in matrix form it will be a x equal to b and uh, what is a a is this matrix a11 a12 a21 a22 and uh, x is the unknown vector that is x1 x2 this matrix or uh, this vector b equal to b1 and b2 so this vector okay now the point is that uh, what the, no, the role uh, a plays so that <coughs> role is called transform transformation matrix so what transformation matrix tells so transformation matrix means we have a x equal to b so if i multiply matrix a to x vector then you will get b so a is called transformation matrix okay now we will slowly slowly proceed and to uh, know the eigenvalue concept uh, so here uh, i can raise one question that if we multiply a to x it will be b so is there any relation between x and b that we will see on that uh, relation we will have the eigenvalue problem so first we can take one problem example problem so it will be 6 3 2 by 2 matrix 4 7 so if i multiply 6 3 4 7 with 1 1 then what will happen we will get this 9 and 11 okay so this is one example so another example is that if i multiply this 6 3 4 7 with 1 minus 1 then what will happen it will be 6 minus 3 3 and 4 minus 7 minus 3 so now we can see the, uh, the relation here we got uh, 9 11 but here if i apply 1 minus 1 then it will be uh, 3 minus 3 but the transformation is same so we can see that this factor is scalar multiple of this or this is the scalar multiple of this that means 3 minus 3 will be what 3 into 1 minus 1 so that concept will give the idea of eigenvalue problem so i can write it as the eigenvalue problem is defined as ax equal to lambda x so what is x so x is called eigen vector okay and the lambda is called eigen value okay so now uh, the aim is that to find such type of vector x so that this relation holds and uh, if we will get such type of x then that problem is called eigenvalue problem or that system of equation give you eigenvalue problem so now we will demonstrate something uh, so if i write uh, one matrix 2 1 1 2 and if i apply with uh, 1 0 then what will happen it will be 2 and 1 which is so not scalar multiple of 1 0 so 2 1 is not scalar multiple of 1 0 but when if i multiply 2 1 1 2 with 1 1 then what will happen it will be 3 3 so 3 3 is nothing but 3 into 1 1 okay that we can get so mathematically the concept is that okay now we will see what it represents geometrically but because that is much more important because uh, in general we understand what is uh, eigenvalue problem and we apply but we don't know much about 
the geometric interpretation and how does it happens and what is the nature so in physics point of view in geometry point of view it is very important to know the eigenvalue problem so if i see this problem and this problem so i will draw two axis that is x1 and x2 okay and this is scale 1 2 3 this is x1 and this is x2 1 2 3 so what will happen, we will see, if I uh, take 1, 0, so uh, 1, 0 means 1, this is and 0, okay, so this point, so if I take this point and this transformation, so what will happen, 2, 1, we will get 2, comma 1, this point, okay, so initially we have this, but finally we have this vector, so if I write it as V1, and the final vector is v2 so v1 is not equal to lambda times v2 or simply i can write it as v2 is not equal to lambda times v1 okay now next thing we will see if i take this problem then what will happen we have to take one one vector so one one will be this vector so i can uh, write it as and that point okay so this point means the vector will be this so i can write it as u okay i can write it as u1 so this vector is u1 after applying this transformation to 1 1 what will happen will get 3 3 so 3 3 will be this point okay so now we will get this okay so this is uh, u2 u2 so what we got what we got first we have u1 ok 1 1 then we will have u2 so here we can get that u2 is equal to 3 times u1 ok that means scalar multiple of u1 u2 is scalar multiple of u1 so here we can conclude that uh, in the eigenvalue problem uh, if i take the eigenvector then the right side will be lambda x and lambda into eigenvalue that means uh, if u1 is the eigenvector then u2 will be what scalar multiple of u1 that means the direction will be same but the length will change okay so the uh, vector will contract or expand so that means if the lambda value is positive it will expand if lambda value is uh, negative then it will be contract so our uh, next our vector will lie on this line if we have this our eigenvector okay so here one point is that uh, 1 1 if i take 1 1 and if i see so 1 1 will represent what square okay 1 1 this 1 1 will represent a square okay now after transformation we will get 3 3 so again what it represents square okay but the area of this word if i write the area and if write area is s1 and for this area is s2 then s1 is 1 s2 is what 3 into 3 9 so S2 will be lambda square into S1. So this is one beautiful relation that we can get. So if we have eigenvector and the order of A is N, then the uh, volume in general we can write it as volume. So volume V2 will be lambda to the power N times volume V1, where N is the number of unknowns or of N equal to order of matrix A that you have to understand so geometrically the meaning is this but if we take different uh, uh, <coughs> vector other than eigenvector that will have different vectors okay so that is the beauty of eigenvectors and eigenvalue problem